morning guys, November 5th, 2013. I'm on my way to do another winterization on a, a little cottage type of house on the water. I'm going to be shutting it down. This one's got a boiler in there, so I feel like blow out all the fin tube radiators and a boiler with the, with the uh, compressed air, so a little bit different than the other ones I did. But I'll be there by myself so I can get some footage on this for sure, no problem. I'll show you what I do on this one. Stay tuned. Funny how it hides right in the grass, huh? You make sure that they cover it over good too. What? There it is. Don't we put a flag on it every year? Yeah, we do everything. But they don't want, you know, such things to take away from their decor. That's it right there. Should take the grass and rip it right out of here. That's what I should do. I'll teach them a lesson. They won't forget. Oh, so that's a left hand, right? Okay. It's just my left hand. No, it's a left hand thread. It's yeah. a left hand turn. No, oh, I mean, you're supposed to use your left hand to shut it off with. Nice, huh? It's off. You gotta read the meter now? Alright, I gotta get on this house here. G.I. Joe. Just call me G.I. Joe. You gotta read the meter? Yeah. You gotta open that then? No. Oh no, no, this is your stuff. It's called me G.I. Joe. Watch out for snakes. I'm gonna blow that off there. Gotta drain here. I'll put my, my water line to my ear, compressed ear. pounds on that compressor so I'll go around and bleed everything out. Hot and cold on all the faucets. This house has got a boiler, so I'm going to show you how to do that boiler. Yeah.
toilet's out in a little bit. You must have a problem with the valve. We're shutting it off here. It's all right. Now I got the compressor set at 60 pounds outside, so it's gonna keep pumping that air 60 pounds through the system, so it's all the water out. All these toilets down with my little pump. Let me start the dishwasher up on a cycle. Normal wash, it'll push all the water through the solenoid. Here it goes. The air is going to push all the water. Then I'll dump any freeze in here and dump it after. Um, there's a nice maker in the refrigerator. I'll pull that out and I'll disconnect that. I'll show you what I do with that. That will freeze if you don't do it right. <clears throat> Disconnect it down in here. I'll show you how to disconnect it. If not, it'll be a problem. Okay, outside shower. Same thing. Blowing all the water out with a compressed air. What's the hot side? Cold. Same thing, go around, make sure I get all the water out of the house. Everything's got to come out. first so basically the air is coming in the feeder the water feeder here at a reduced pressure 12 to 15 pounds and then I'll push all the water out of the boiler my holes here Once I get that open, I got my hose open, I could open up the, the bypass. I'll push all the air out, all the water out of the boiler. Once the boiler's all drained, then I'll do loops. Just got one loop on this coming off the supply here going down going down one inch and it comes back three quarter right here so this would be the this is the purge station here I'll get, blow all the air through the supply through the return <clears throat> out the purge station and get rid of all the water Put the bike 
pass down and shut it off here. Yeah. I'll pressurize this boiler with air and I'll blow it off the bypass. Alright, so I got the return off. It's going out the supply, going through the house, coming back, the return and going out the holes. sure that you got a, a hose open if you're gonna use the, um, the bypass you don't want to put too much pressure on the boiler and that's basically started it up January, February, March, April, and April when I was here did the cleaning on the burner and stuff gets a little bit of water in there, it'll split. That's the problem with winterizing stuff. You never know. Ain't nothing guaranteed. And I'll go around, I'll do it, you know, a couple of more times, make sure I get everything done right. Everything's open. I don't want to leave any water nowhere.
through the different cycles. Basically blowing all the air out, you know, the lines into here, and I'll dump antifreeze and then I'll dump it. So that's on the spin, and then that antifreeze will dump, you know, mix with the water and then dump down a trap. And that's how you want to raise that. We'll let that go. Get all the water out. Put a little bit of water in there, It'll evaporate a small amount. I ain't worried about Get as much as I can out. There's a lot of water in a bowl. I use the water I got from the bucket here to dump it. get rid of most of it and all I have to do is just pump a little bit more out and I'll add antifreeze so it's completely empty now I'll add a little antifreeze in there antifreeze in here and antifreeze in here solenoid valve. Gotta get it out. If not, there's gonna be an issue. <sighs> Alright, next thing I'll do is the uh, dishwasher. 
quite a bit in there. No, you don't want to do the sink yet. You want to do the dishwasher for us. Some antifreeze in there. I already blew it out there. Well, what you want to do is cancel. It'll be draining. You can hear it draining. See it draining down to the garbage disposal. That's good. I can do these two. Upstairs bathroom. I'll make sure I don't pump all the water out of it. There's no water left. somebody does decide to uh, turn a water main on it won't flood the house and this is the low point everything will drain back you can see all the cardboard I've been coming here for years leave the cardboard and I'm done. I slide it in there Boilers off. I'll pull the fire matic out so nobody can run it. Yeah, I'll have it off inside the house also, but I'll just make sure I leave everything open. Any any ball valves, let it drip. I'll leave everything just cracked. So if there's any water in there, it'll drain out. Everything's open. All the all the faucets are open. Um, dishwasher's done. This is done and unplugged. I'm gonna make sure you leave the refrigerator door open. If this closes on them, it'll turn black. All the food's gotta be out. That's it. Upstairs faucet's open and I'm done. Well, you guys check out the view. It's right on the ocean. Look at this. Right on the ocean. What a view. Beautiful. Right. Just to make sure everything's open. <clears throat> Maybe you just leave the cover off. Leave the cover in a safe spot so it's not going to get ruined. That's it, it's done. All the heating's blown out, all the plumbing's blown out, it's a done deal. Alright guys, appreciate you watching.